Paul Bianchi, our coach, uh, on the head wrestling coach up at Davidson College, which is just outside of Charlotte. We're a Division I program. We wrestle out of the Southern Conference. Uh, it's regarded as one of the top academic institutions. Uh, I'm actually brand new. I've only been there for like six weeks. Uh, I was the head coach at Sacred Heart University. That's a Division I school in Connecticut. Lots of snow. Lots of snow. But, uh, been, you know, been very familiar with this club, and it's, it's awesome to be down here starting to recruit in this area. I don't think that there is a place in the country that's seen more growth and improvement in the sport of wrestling than in South and probably specifically right now. Uh, so I'm excited to be down here get a little bit of time with you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, have any words, or, you know, while we're, while we're teaching all the shows up, we just have you know. Probably one of the most common questions I get asked is what is the biggest difference between high school and college wrestling? Recruits ask me that, parents ask me that. And I, I basically have two ways to answer that question. First of all, it's the ocean that you're swimming in. Right now you're swimming in an ocean with a lot of goldfish, guppies, and minnows. Right? And then every now and then there's a shark that comes through. College, that ocean. All those guppies, minnows, and goldfish disappear, and it's just full of shots. So what does that mean? You've got to love it tough every single day. And that's incredibly hard to do to bring your best on that level of consistency every single day. After a loss, uh, the college season is gone. So doing it in February, doing it in March, doing it when you're not feeling good, continuing to bring that consistency, that's what really loving it tough is all about. Uh, and then the second piece is really the on the mat portion. Uh, in my opinion, high school wrestling is all about moves. In college wrestling, it's all about positions. So the language that you speak is a lot different. The fluency is a lot different. So you need to be fluent in this language of positions, not just moves. I think wrestling is a little bit more of an art than it is a science. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to work over kind of just some single leg stuff. When we took a shot and we didn't score, because I see so many people either score or get scored on from this position. They end up chasing a single where they should have chased it to, and they get to here. Hands in front of their head, head on the mat. Okay? Who watched, uh, who watched Bo Nickel wrestle in the Dual Week versus Oklahoma State? You guys got to get on the flow a little bit more. Okay? So, so, Bo Nickel, I hope everyone knows who he is. Uh, this guy from Oklahoma State, you know, boy, he's ranked like fourth or fifth in the country. He's all fired up. He shoots in on both ends. Great single, but he chased it too far. He got to here. Bo Nickel created him up, pinned him in probably, I think it was like 30 seconds. So you've you got to be really careful about the position you go to while you're trying to finish these shots. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is that you don't have to take the world's best shot. You don't need to have the best single in the world, you just need to get to the best position. Alright? So, I'm going to grab you right here my card. Push it in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a single and this guy's going to start to sprawl on us. And as he sprawls, we're not going to let him pull our hands to the mat and our head to the mat here. If we feel ourselves, go back up. If we feel ourselves getting pulled, we're not going to be able to keep the sprawl pressure. Go ahead. I'm going to let go. And I'm going to post with this hand right here. This is where I start to get strong right now. Go ahead, rotate this way for me. The other thing is, this hand that was down on his hamstring, it has to slide up below his butt and wrap into his thighs. Now my elbow is going to pinch hard here. What I've done is I've gotten control of his hips. Go ahead and sprawl now. Get you like that. Okay? See how much harder it is for him to get his leg back? I'm buying myself a lot of time in there. Now, if my hand is low, go ahead and scroll. I can't buy myself any time. I'm not controlling his hips there. Okay? So we're going to take a single. We're going to take a single here. He's going to start to scroll. I'm going to post. And this hand, critical inch, has to slide up, up here, and my elbow pinches down. Rotate, rotate, rotate. The hand went from here, slides up, pitches down. Okay? Now, my hips are a little bit separated. I'm going to just slide my hips back in underneath me right here. Go ahead, get your leg back. 
See how much time I'm buying myself? They're strong in here. So before we actually get into scoring, we have to learn this position and feel right now. Any questions in there? Last thing, what's my head doing? My head is pressuring up into his, into his gut. Okay? Because he's probably going to try and stuff my head anyways. Here. Yep. So I'm just fighting real hard. My ears flush into his body here. Right there. We're going to get into some fun stuff. Boom. Where we can limp him out if he's really strong. First, we got to get strong in here. Any questions? Okay, be the partner. One, two, three.